Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God, is the Revelator once again. And hoping the grace and the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ is with you until the end of time. We are coming from a presentation that was exclusive. A sermon presentation where I explained about the demonic intoxications. And I explained the multiple intoxications that come through the influence of liquor, that come through the influence of drinking wine. I explained in that presentation how there is evil drunkenness, where your drinking becomes evil in the sight of the Lord. And that drinking spree ends up becoming an inspiration of evils. And today, we want to enter into yet another creative sermon presentation. And today, we want to focus on a deep exposure inside the Word of God. And want to focus on the devil's calling the devil's calling and inside the devil's calling i want to talk about demonic impartations inside the devil's calling and hoping those that have been listening to the revelator 2023 sermons you continue being updated and being amplified by the word of god so, for us to understand more, let us get into scriptures. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 11, and it reads, If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? The scripture here, is referring unto every guardian, every parent, every father, every mother. And the scripture here, in context, it is also referring unto every mentor, those that stand in the capacity of grooming teaching and raising others those that have been given the capacity to raise those that they love either grooming or raising spiritually or practically and jesus here is trying to give a picture that even humanity in its evil state there is still an area that is found inside humanity in its evil state to dispatch that which is good and that which is good being exhibited by he or she that is evil. Therefore, all things whatsoever you would, that men should do to you, do ye also even so to them, for this is the law of the prophets. So, when we take this context on the pulpit, we also learn to realize that if one has been presented as a preacher of the word, might it be a prophet, might it be a pastor, an evangelist, an apostle, a bishop, might it be the revelator or any other calling, it is also possible that one can be gifted with the gift of God, but being evil. 
even as much as jesus said if you being evil as parents know how to give good gifts unto your children how much more shall your father which is in heaven who is filled with all righteousness meaning that you can be one that is completely evil and the only thing that you have is a good gift from god i hope someone is understanding what i'm saying here we are taking this from the context of a parent who is evil probably that parent is a prostitute or that parent is a robber or that parent does anything that is evil but when it comes to his own children he has something that he wants to exhibit which is good meaning that it's not every good thing that comes from god though a gift can also come from god which can be exhibited which can be dispatched which can be demonstrated unto men and i took this matter and transferred it on the pulpit so that you may understand that gifts are without repentance the gifts of the spirit are without repentance now when the gifts of the spirit are without repentance what it means is that you are going to have preachers teachers of the word prophets evangelists the fivefold ministry as it is which is not born again and when that fivefold ministry is not born again what it means is that it becomes a good tree but that bears evil fruit how does it become a good tree that bears evil fruit it means in the eyes of men because of the fruit that is being dispatched is going to be identified according to the works and it is going to be recommended as evil when the fruit is not good it does not mean that the tree is not good but what is going to be born of that tree is going to be evil why because if you are not born again you are a bad tree but because of your gift it is possible that you are going to be a good fruit and when you be a good fruit it does not mean that you are righteous because the fruit might represent the gift A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. That is what Jesus said. Yet there are those that appear good. Yet what they dispatch is evil. And there are those that appear evil. But because of the fruit that they bear. They are categorized amongst those that are good. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. A corrupt tree represents a corrupt preacher. One that is crooked ways. One that is not straight in his ways. But when he goes on the pulpit because of the gift of the spirit, he bears good fruit. Yet he is a corrupt tree. And then Jesus then says, Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit, every tree that bringeth not 
good fruit is going to be cut down and cast into the fire. He's categorizing any tree that is either bad but it brings forth good fruit or any tree that appears to be good but it produces bad fruit. And then he says, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? And in thy name have we cast out not devils? And in thy name have we not done many wonderful works? And then I will profess unto them and say, I never knew you. Depart from me, you that do works of iniquity. Or you that work iniquity. How is it possible that there are men and women that are going to stand in the last trial and they shall stand with confidence hoping to be saved and they shall profess and they shall confess that we drove out demons. We demonstrated power in your name. We healed the sick. We gave to the needy. But in the last hour, they shall be told, I never knew you. How is that possible? It means these men and women measured on the gift that they had been given, but they were not called by Christ. When you have the gift of God, which is a spiritual gift that you have been given by God, it does not automatically mean that you are called by Jesus. The calling is another branch and the gift is another area. When Lucifer fell down here, he fell with all the gifts and the abilities that he had been given by God. But the influence that he is using his ability the inspiration that he is is not from god meaning that a calling is an influence a calling is an inspiration meaning that you can have a gift without repentance as i explained earlier and you are not repentant and you are not a repented soul. And while it's not being a repented soul, you have a gift that you're given by God. Why? Because you are created by God. A God that loves you. And while you are not a repented soul, the devil is able to come and hijack your gift. And when the devil has hijacked your gift, you become a tree that bears bad fruit yet you have a good gift which represents a good tree i'm talking about the devil's calling most of those that are standing on the pulpit today some of them they are called by the devil himself why because the things that they preach they are contrary to the good gift that they have. This is why you can have a preacher who is so accurate in the prophecies. So accurate when he is prophesying, it's impossible for you to liken his gift to the devil. Why? Because the gift is truly from God. But the fruit of the teachings that he is preaching is not from God. Meaning that the calling that he is inspiring, the calling that he is being influenced by is not a calling from God. I'm talking about the devil's calling. What then comes from a bad tree like that is what the Holy Spirit defined unto me as demonic impartation. Now, now that you have a gift of God inside your spirit, but the calling that you have is of the devil, what is going to inspire you 
are the fruits of the spirit and the fruits of the spirit can only come through the accuracy of the word not the accuracy of the gift and when you don't have the accuracy of the word it means you don't have the word which which grooms the calling or molds the calling what is going to happen there is going to be a disaster why because the devil's calling can only be nurtured by the ways of the devil that's when you see a preacher who has climbed off the pulpit proposing to the same girl in the church that he was preaching to that's when you hear that a preacher that was preaching is very abusive to his wife that's when you hear that a preacher that was preaching has got sexual scandals that's when you hear that a preacher that was preaching is involved in corruption why because the devil's calling can only be nurtured by evil that's the part which jesus says a bad tree cannot give birth to good fruit but it has been the calling of god it would be nurtured by the word of god but because it's a gift of god inside the devil's calling it then dispatches demonic impartations why because the way that you operate in your gift is so amazing it is so excellent everyone claps hands but the life that you live after preaching the word is contrary the life that you live after dispatching the gifts of the spirit is contrary to the calling that you have this is why i value the calling not the gift this is why i value the fruit of the spirit not the gift for the fruit of the spirit is the one that defines where your calling came from what then happens is that if you have the devil's calling eventually that gift has been hijacked even if it is a gift from god that gift of god ends up not working according to the ways of god why because you are not being inspired by god you are being inspired by the devil and what then comes afterwards is that you are now being used to dispatch the devil's inspiration you use the gift of god for the production of the devil you use the devil's calling to manipulate the gift of god it's a gift of it's a gift of god we are going to see people standing up from the wheelchairs it's a gift of god we are going to see many falling down why because you have a gift of god it's a gift of god there are areas that you are actually going to see you giving people money there are areas that you are going to see you doing good but your calling is hijacked in everything that you do you do it for the eyes of men why because it is not the father that sent you that is the part where jesus is saying i never knew you you workers of iniquity what is iniquity iniquity is unrighteousness everything that you were doing was not out of righteousness it was done for the eyes of men everything that you were doing it was done for the devil anything that is done for men it is done for the devil and everything that is done for god which is done for our lord jesus christ is done for god this gift that you have can function without the holy spirit i've seen people that believe that the gifts of the spirit they come through the holy spirit the holy spirit comes to activate the gift that god already gave you 
Yes, of course, the Holy Spirit has got the, the capability to come and polish up the gift, to perfect the gift, to enlarge the gift. But there are gifts that you were born with, or gifts that you were given unto way before you were born. Just like God says unto Jeremiah, I knew you before you were born and ordained you to be a prophet. It means the devil was also waiting with the anticipation, with the hope that I can hijack that calling that Jeremiah had. And it's good because God was the one that took over that calling. So there are many callings of God that were hijacked by the devil. And the, the project became the devil's calling. And the, the devil uses that gift for his own benefit in the same way that he fell with the angels that had different abilities. He fell with those angels and he is still commanding those angels right now. He commands those angels. First Corinthians, uh, Second Corinthians rather, 11 verse 13. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers. When one becomes a deceitful worker, it means he is using the gift of God in the devil's calling. That's being a deceitful worker. Why? Because the things that he's doing, they are so magnified by God, but he is being inspired by the devil. Transforming themselves into apostles of Christ. Meaning that they are the actual apostles of Christ and they are those that are fake. And no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Satan is no longer the morning star. But he still has the capacity, he still has the, ab the ability to transform himself into an angel of light. Why? Because he still has the gift of God. So he can appear to you with the gift of God, but he is no longer the angel of light. He is now the angel of darkness. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also can be transformed as ministers of righteousness. Meaning that you can have ministers that appear to be ministers of righteousness. And 90% of what they do on the pulpit teaches you about God. But yet they have the devil's calling. Whose end shall be according to their works? Which works now? Meaning that they are areas in their works that you are going to ask yourself is this man truly called by god if he then starts defining the serpent not as the devil there are some things that they are going to start to do even in their teachings you, you shall hear that this is this is not the way of the gospel even in some miracles you shall start asking yourself is this miracle being done to glorify God. Even in their lifestyle, after church, you shall start asking yourself, is this the way of God? In their activities, you shall question yourself. The way they conduct themselves with the women after church, some of them, you see them drinking after church, but when they go on the pulpit, they shall be dispatching the gift of God. Yet they are called by the devil. And they shall inspire many with that corrupt fruit. And it shall be defined under demonic impartations. Child of God, I'm here once again to warn you that the devil has called many into his ministry and is imparting his demons into the children of God. And you need to be aware in the name of Jesus.
Come on and sing it with me. My heart, my mind, lift your voice and say it. 